Hello everybody, my name is Naomi and um, I'm just going to make recordings about what it's like to write your first book. I've been working on a novel about my mother's childhood for, it's really embarrassing to admit, it's been 10 years now. And uh, when I first started working on it, mom was alive and I was working full time. And I did get something written in the first person as if it was it was her telling me stuff and so I would write down what she said. Um, I don't know if that's on me or if that's... Oh, okay. So, um, as a side note, I know a lot of people will put on makeup and look their best for these uh, videos, but I, I haven't done that. And I'm not going to be ashamed about my age because what is the alternative? Um, so anyway, I've been working very hard this summer. Uh, I did, I wish I had that available to show you. I did get a little thin book uh, told in her first person voice. And I had it published by a private uh, publisher. It's called lulu.com. And I just published like two copies, uh, one for mom and one for myself. And then a few years later, I got a couple more copies made for my brother and my nephew. Uh, so, but now what I'm doing is I'm working on making a book that people who aren't in the family might enjoy reading. And it's told in the style of Little House on the Prairie. Did you like Little House on the Prairie books? I liked them when I was a kid. And when I was a kid, my father's job transferred him to the state of Maine. We had been living in northern Minnesota. My parents are from southwest Minnesota. So they are from the prairie. And anyway, when I lived in the state of Maine, our teachers read us the Little House on the Prairie books. And we loved them. Well, come to find out... Laura Ingalls Wilder grew up 40 miles from my mom and dad. She has a book called On the Banks of Plum Creek. And uh, mom took me there one time when I was a kid. She had never heard of the Little House books. So I can't remember Little House books. Do they take place in the 1860s? I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up. But anyway, so this would be... The stories are like uh, in a next next uh, century, what it's like to grow up on the prairie in the 1930s. Bye-bye. Um,